Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a flip through of my latest journals. These have been in the making for a long time. <laughs> um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I took a break. So I took a break from working on these journals as well. But I got back to it and I really enjoyed it. This is a little bit different from journals that I normally make. I usually make retro journals. Um, I've made floral journals, but I would call these more like botanical. And this time around, I really did a lot of collaging, which I normally don't do. Um, that definitely made it take a little bit longer, but I really enjoyed it. I think collaging is really hard for me and it's hard to like get into the groove of it. But once I did, I really enjoyed it. Um, so I have three of these journals. And then I made five journals total. Um, so I have three that are similar. Then I have this one that's also soft cover, but it's um, covered with fabric. And then I have a, a hardcover one that I will show in another video. Now I think I'm going to only have time to go through two of these. So I might do a video where I do this flip through and one of these. All right, so let me just go ahead and get started with, I'll just pick this one. This is made out of a folder that's like a file folder. You can see that brown color. Um, it is a soft cover. I have some fabric in the back. Um, I have a book plate right here. And I have some jewelry dangles hanging off of this eyelet right here. And I also made some fabric pendants that are hanging off of here. This is tied with sari silk and it goes around vertically like this. All right, so there's gonna be a lot going on in this journal. I just have a fabric tab right here I made a circle tuck spot right here with this card that I made and some paper that I stamped on. There's, this is a junkie tag that I made and I have a video on how I made these. And there's another card in here for journaling. There's a pocket back here, and then a pocket in the front. And I did some collaging over there. More collaging on this side. I have a long lace tab right here that sticks out. I thought that would be cool to try. Another junkie tag right here. I have a paper clip with some beads on it and there's a little da embroidered daisy right here. This is a window pocket. I have a video showing you how to make this and there's a little tag that's hanging off of it with some beads on the string. Actually, I should get something so I can show you. Um, okay, I'll just get this. This is a pocket back here and a pocket in here. Some collaging on this side, coffee dyed graph paper. I love this coffee dye, how it just looks like chaos right there. Um, book page right here. I love this image. I love the colors. This, these are some beads hanging off of a safety pin. 
that's pinned onto this fabric tab. This right here is a sheer pocket and inside is a specimen card. I am thinking of making a tutorial for this. I have not yet as of this recording, but I might do that um, soon. Some more graph paper, collaging, coffee dyed. This is an old, I printed on an old dictionary page. And a lot of these pages have stitching all around the edge. If you can see that. Maybe I should move a little closer there. Fabric tag or tab. This is another paper clip with some beads on it. And this is a bag with a floral image and an index page on the back. These pockets, I believe I have a tutorial or a craft with me on this pocket right here. There's a pocket in the back. There's a pocket right here. And a small pocket right here. And these are just stamped images on file folder. And there's collaging right here. Collaging in the back. More collaging here. Pocket right here with the tag that I made for journaling. More collaging. I really love this lace. I got this lace at Michael's. Coffee dyed and collaging. Collaging really is a lot of work, but I love how it looks. I stacked three pages right here, stamped um, image, a vintage Rolodex piece, and then this is just coffee dyed um, paper that I got from Marshalls. More collaging here, fabric tag here, and another dangle. This is coffee dyed, I think it's wax paper. I really love the sound and the feel of it. More stitching around this page right here. And this is the middle of the signature. This is just one signature, and I love this image. I just printed onto paper here. Again, that crinkly wax paper. More collaging. More collaging over here. This envelope. I have a video on how I made this envelope. And you just open it up like this. And there's some collaging in there and inside is uh, an old indexed card or it's like a divider and I stamped on the top. I'll go ahead and put that back later. And it's fastened on here with the paper clip with beads on the end. Another specimen card. I loved layering lace with um, vintage fabric here. So a couple of junky tags. And I love the layered look here. And I like that this matches with the cover. I think it kind of makes it a little bit more cohesive. A little stamped card right here in this little pocket made out of a flashcard. More collaging, another card for journaling paper clipped on here with a paper clip that has beads on it 
and a little daisy. This here is another specimen card with some pressed with a pressed flower. And this pocket is made of tulle and there are little beads inside. So it's kind of like a shaker pocket, but it's made completely of material. This here is a pocket and a pocket. Printed on dictionary paper. And this side I printed onto paper from a book that was from 1882. So it's really old paper. More coffee dyeing right here with a little bit of collaging. I just love how chaotic it looks. Um, yeah, collaging on this side. This is stamped paper that I just put in so that you could see it through the window. Another tag with some beads on it. Another pocket right here. And there's a pocket in the back. I love this paper. It's kind of hard for me to cover up pretty things, but I think that's what this is about. Like you have to just go with it. <laughs> Um, more coffee dyeing and collaging. Again, I layered um, eyelet lace over vintage sheet fabric. I love how this page came together. There's a journaling card right here with a stamped image right here for journaling. Another stamped image here and in the pocket. Another card for journaling. I love these colors. This is another envelope. And here's the paper clip that holds it onto the page. And inside of this envelope, there's some collaging. There's a stamped piece right here. I love this stamp. And a divider card, like index divider card. Okay, I'll put that back later. And then, I love this book page right there. Another stack of papers, Rolodex. Um, I printed this and this is engineering graph paper. Another like shaker pocket here. I don't know if you can see the beads in there. And then a journaling card. And I stamped with gold ink here. And I have my business card here with a little daisy clipped on with a beaded paper clip. And then the way the closure is, is I put two eyelets on the top and the bottom. And you just wrap it around this way to close it up. But we are at 14 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I think I'll end up doing these two, the flip through for these two, in one video because you kind of know what's in it already. They're very different from each other in that I wasn't modeling one after the other, but there are a lot of similar elements in them. So I think I'll do a video on those two and then with less talking and then I'll do a video on this one. And this one is a pretty different from these. And 
then I will also have a flip through on a hardcover one. But I hope you enjoyed seeing this journal. I loved making it. It seems that every new set of journals I make, they become my favorite to make. So I'm glad I'm evolving, but I'm enjoying it too. Um, let me know what you think of this style of journal. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed and you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing. And I thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.